Well, investigators have been here all day long, checking those safety gates the witnesses say never came down before a woman was fatally struck last night. <laughs> investigators were back in the same spot where the car was struck by the Haverhill Line commuter train just before 6 p.m. Friday night. I was stunned. I I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This man, who didn't want to be identified, works next to the train tracks. He says he saw and heard the commuter train just before the car was struck. And I hear the engine coming, and uh, he starts blowing the horn, and I saw uh, a couple cars go over the tracks, just... And the gates are up. And the gates are up. And uh, then, like, the third car come along and just blindsided them. The victim, 68-year-old Roberta Salsville, was pronounced dead at the scene. Flowers were left outside her Wilmington home, which is just yards from the accident site. <laughs> this is video of the victim's car found down the tracks Friday night, as emergency officials were still trying to determine what has happened at the railroad crossing. Many witnesses have come forward to first responders and transit investigators claiming the safety gates never came down as the commuter train struck the car, killing the driver, with the incident captured on nearby surveillance cameras. Investigators now have that surveillance tape to see if those gates were properly working, now part of that investigation. We're live in Wilmington. I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.